Hi, hello. Uh, if you hear that in the background, that's my cat. I just wanted to put a little bit of a disclaimer on this video. Uh, while making this video, as well as watching the television show and the movie, I really didn't know anything about the fact that there's like plagiarism controversy and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, didn't really research that until, uh, as I'm editing this video. So I just wanted to say, like, in no way, shape, or form, Am I supporting the author? I just really like the television show. Uh, I know there might be some controversy with that. Uh, there's so much information out there that I like don't know what is what. Um, I don't know if the story, like, I, I just, I don't know. I read a lot and I'm still really confused on whether it's plagiarism or whether it's inspiration or what it is. So if anybody has any information, like confirmation on whether it is plagiarism or not, that'd be really awesome. But I just want to put that out there. Like, I, I love the show, but uh, obviously I'm not going to support an author that um, plagiarizes other people's stuff because uh, no bueno. But I just, I, I just want to put that out there as I make this, that I, I was kind of clueless and I did not know and I'm sorry about that. Okay, uh, enjoy the video. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to my channel and I'm hopping straight in to my February setup. I am super excited because I'm starting my new journal uh, which is my new Archer and Olive journal which I have been so excited about. Excuse me. Um, I've been super excited about it. It's been uh, just <laughs> long awaited, and I finally was like, "Yeah, we'll just finish the other one and like start this. It doesn't even matter." So my theme for February is based off of one of my favorite Chinese television shows and slash movie, and that is Eternal Love or Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms. I really love this show. Um, the the show is really long. It's on Netflix, but it is honestly worth the watch. It is just a really good telling of the story that has been told around a couple times. Um, but basically, this is my quote page and my front page, which are just covered in uh, peach blossoms. And it took a lot of experimentation, as you saw, to kind of figure out what ones worked to be able to make it look how I wanted it to look. But eventually I found one that worked, and I'll go a little bit more in depth on like what I did later in the video, because there's like a better representation of it <laughs> later. But I just wanted just the front page to just be all the cherry blossoms in the world, and... Um, I'm just doing the technique from C. Lemon's video from years ago on how to do this, uh, which was kind of hard because, uh, if I'm being honest, the Archer and Olive page, like, those pages dry, like, really fast, <laughs> and so it's a little, <laughs> it's a little hard, a little hard sometimes to be able to get the same effect that she did, because it's just... Uh, a mess. <laughs> um, but I'm just writing out my quote, which is, there are 10 miles of peach blossoms, but one is enough to fill my heart. And that is a direct quote from the movie, which is on Hulu. Um, I love that movie because I love the main actor. We don't, we're not getting into that. Uh, but I really loved the quote for, I've loved it for many, many years. And so I decided to put it as my main quote in my bullet journal. And you probably saw the little like Phoenix birthmark thing. That is from the um, movie. No, that's, sorry. That's from the TV show. And that's one of my favorite characters. I'm going to butcher her name, but her name is um, Bai Feng Ju. And she is the cutest little ray of sunshine ever. And I love her. And it's played by one of my favorite Chinese actresses. <laughs> so I just drew that out in my bullet journal. And it was so perfect that I actually went back and I, uh, 
I just like traced it on a piece of paper so I could put it other places because it was really like intense. So I have my uh, monthly calendar. I went through, you'll see, and just painted the rest of the cherry blossoms because it literally took me hours to paint all of them. And it was just, I, I can only film like just a little over an hour like at a time. So that wasn't like really conducive to my situation. So I just kind of, yeah, I just went and painted the rest of them. But I, I ended up like spontaneously painting something. I'm painting more so you'll see more of it down the road <laughs> and I <laughs> you'll see you'll see I actually messed up the sizing of the boxes uh, <laughs> just just two rows out of out of all of them just because I, I I don't I don't know maybe it was because it was like three in the morning I just kind of messed up <laughs> And one box is bigger than the others by um, by square. So, oops, oops, a daisy. <laughs> um, it turned out fine. It, but so just just ignore it. It didn't happen, okay? <laughs> but that was my fault. I like it was too early in the morning, I think, and I was just like, I'm gonna put it there. And it didn't work, but whatever. And then underneath uh, the big February. <laughs> Um, logo is a space. I just put some watercolor there because I really didn't want to draw any more peach blossoms because it was getting really tiring. And it worked out pretty well because I actually like to track the full moon and the new moon. And that was the perfect space to put those. So I just wrote new and full and I'll fill them in with the dates later. And then I just like went through and uh, dated everything. <laughs> Uh, but I, I really love this theme because it's not just like, ah, I'm just doing cherry blossoms. Like, it means actually a lot to me. I really do love the show. It's um, one of the two shows that, like, I binge watched all through January. So I thought it was perfect to be my new theme. And it went perfect with February, with this, which is, like, the month of love, I guess. <laughs> and this is my sleep blog and daily tarot. They've been through a transformation because at a certain point, I just got really tired of my sleep blog. I really got tired of it. So I did it a little bit differently and basically I just uh, write down the times that I sleep, the quality, and then also if I take naps because I tend to love to take naps. I love to sleep. If I could sleep 24 hours a day, I would, but that I'd be dead. So that is not productive. <laughs> so I just like wrote that out and then my daily tarot also changed a little bit because I still have the card and the meaning but I've been trying to figure out something to kind of add to just express my feelings in a way that it like doesn't have to be lengthy and I just I'm like I'll just I'll just write like it makes me feel good or it makes me feel horrible or it makes me feel nervous um, instead of like trying to analyze the card <laughs> because I, I don't really need to do that and I think that'll just you know I will give me a little bit of sense of my own intuition with the cards instead of you know going off of what the actual card means because I like writing the card meanings specifically um, and then here is I literally I don't know why but I painted all of the Phoenix symbols all of them <laughs> off camera because I was just so excited about them so there's no video of me actually painting it in but I mean whatever <laughs> Um, so I'm just doing my pens of the month, which, uh, I'll fill in later. I, I usually, like, don't do it when I sit down, so it, it'll, it'll happen. It'll, it'll just happen later. And then I did a mood tracker and an energy tracker, and I usually do a mood tracker like this, but I added in an energy tracker because I do constantly have, like, fatigue and low energy for a multitude of reasons. And I just kind of wanted to track that as well. And uh, it's a really easy way to do that. Uh, I know that I messed it up. <laughs> I have yet to go and fix it. You will not see it fixed in this video. But I just, again, a lot of this was filmed at like five in the morning after not sleeping all night. So, <laughs> 
so I'm a, I'm a little crazy so I'll I'll fix it eventually but yeah you're just just ignore that that's not a that's not a thing don't even worry about it it's all good it's all good in the hood and then this is where I kind of had like this blank space and I realized like I I wasn't putting a title up there and I was like well damn what am I gonna do now <laughs> so I actually uh, ended up putting more cherry blossoms on this page and basically all I did is I took this really light pencil I kind of drew out where I wanted the you know branches to be and then I went back and I literally just put circles everywhere I wanted the cherry blossoms to be and hoped that it would look right <laughs> uh, and it I would follow it like to a T because I was at this point I had there were just too many cherry blossoms I was ready to be done with the cherry blossoms as cute as they were boy oh boy <laughs> they were tough um, but basically my, the whole thing in C Lemon's video is you just take a light wash of she did a red color I was trying to do it with pink and realized that red looked so much better and you just like thin it out make it like a light reddish pink and here comes my cat this is my cat dash and he likes to sit on my desk and like literally lay on my desk and just be comfy so i was like if you're gonna do that i'm just i'm gonna use you <laughs> and you just you're gonna deal with it <laughs> but uh yeah i just put down that light wash and then i ended up uh what you do is you just make sure that it's like still wet and then you just take a more concentrated like blob of paint and you just tap it where you want it to go and you just let it spread out from there and sometimes I was really good at it sometimes it sucked we don't need to talk about it <laughs> but he literally just like sat there like that for I mean a good 10-15 minutes he's weird he's really weird he's also really dumb uh, that's not an exaggerate like he's just he's really dumb but he is so cute and he is a little seven month old he's almost eight probably he's oh he is a little ball of sunshine uh i got him in august when he was like two months um my friend was like yeah we do like trap neuter and release and we missed one so she had kittens and so i actually ended up for a couple months having him and all of his siblings and when I mean all of his siblings, I mean all four of them. And we found them homes, but I wanted to keep one, so we kept him, and his name is Dash. Uh, we, his siblings were named Jack Jack and Violet, um, which worked out really well because he had a dash. He had two dashes on his back. His sister had like a V on the back, so we called her Violet. And then the other one, we're just like, you're crazy. Your name is Jack Jack, so that's the story of him and he's been he's been really he's been a lot because he's a kitten and like I didn't <laughs> he's just like he runs around like a crazy person all day and he plays like fetch with my mom all the time like I don't I don't understand he just he literally he just plays fetch but he just wants to be like where the party is so he he comes and he like cuddles with us all the time and and I love him so much except when I'm trying to work and he sits on my desk. I only let him like sit on my desk once in a while uh, just because like, it, you know, I, I love him, but just sometimes I, he needs to get down and uh, I take him down. Uh, but like a lot of times when I'm working on my journal, he will absolutely just be like, okay, I'm gonna sit on your journal he's been doing that since he was like three months old um, so it's nothing new but it's like I'm trying to work buddy can you can you get get off my desk but he's he's my baby boy he's my little baby boy and I will never ever get another kitten so I'm just trying to enjoy the time I have with him because <laughs> I'm not going through that again I'll foster kitten but I ain't, I ain't keeping them I'm done I'm done with that <laughs> great and now I'm going to be working on my mental health symptom tracker. Uh, I do this really extensive symptom tracker. I've been doing it for three months now. 
and I actually really like it. Um, I kind of gave up on finishing my trackers for the month of January. So I'm hoping to get like back into it <laughs> again. I just like need to take like a minute, you know, to just kind of get back in the groove. But I track my mental health um, very seriously. I do have some um, pretty like intense disorders. So kind of keeping track of like my moods and my kind of habits that I do, whether they're good or bad is like kind of important to me. So I mean, there's a whole list of things that I, you can see. Um, there's like paranoia, there's anxiety, depression, um, being in bed all day, eating in bed, um, excessively picking up my skin, stuff like that. But I also have positive ones like being happy and being super self-aware and creating and out of bed and spending time with family. And so there's a good list and there's a bad list and it just kind of is there to remind me what I need to change and also to just kind of, um, remind me that, you know, you're still doing okay, you know, no matter how bad it gets. So I, I, I like it. And then I just have this really cute quote that says, in three lifetimes and in three worlds, there will be 10 miles of peach blossoms forever. And that, again, I think comes from the movie. I don't remember. Um, but this is just my gratitude log. It's very simple. It's very basic. I don't do anything fancy. But I put a quote on the bottom that, again, is a direct quote from the movie. I love the show, I think, more than the movie. But the movie has some really good quotes. <laughs> um, and that is, all my life, I've only been foolish for you. It's a really cute and fun story. I highly suggest it. And then I just do my brain dump and my monthly watch list where uh, I just put random notes and... I have so much space because this journal is so much like taller than my other one that like I honestly am just like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy but uh, I, I do love it and I added a little thing to like Google um, what I need because boy oh boy do I forget to like Google things <laughs> all the time <laughs> but um I, I love that little tracker and then I put in a little I don't know who the artist is but if you know who the artist is can you tell me because that is seriously the cutest version of Fengju I've ever seen again I'm probably butchering her name and we don't need to talk about it but it is seriously she's just a cute little fox and she's just so innocent and adorable and that is my finished bullet journal setup for February I am super excited to get back in the groove of making videos and bullet journaling and just all the fun stuff and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun doing this and just kind of really creating a theme around one of my favorite TV shows so thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.